being an actor at a very young age, there is that same feeling of, you know, being a kid in an adult's world and having those very adult pressures and responsibilities and expectations put on you. Hi, my name is Peyton Elizabeth Lee and I play Lahela Kamealoha. And the show follows my character Lahela as she is sort of navigating her life as a teenager and her life as a doctor and sort of finding herself through it all with the help and support of her family and friends. Hi, my name is Jason Scott Lee and I play Benny Kamealoha who is the father of Lahela Kamealoha, who plays Doogie. Hey, I'm Emma Meisel, and I play Steph Danisco. Hey guys, I'm Matthew Sato, and I play Kai Kamealoha. Hey, I'm Wes Tian, and I play Brian Patrick Kamealoha. Hi, I'm Courtney Kang. I am the creator, executive producer, and showrunner of Doogie Kamealoha, MD. It was a combination of nerve wracking and very exciting. Doogie Hauser was such an iconic show and it had such a large fan base. It was scary because I really wanted to do justice to the original and um, keep the spirit of the original alive. We had this incredible foundation that Doogie Hauser had already built that we sort of got to add on to and um, build off of. My parents and so many people loved the original Doogie Hauser. And to be a part of this reimagining and this like completely fresh new take is just so exciting and so cool. I grew up watching the original and I was always a big fan of it. You know, I was born in Hawaii and I always wanted to do a show there. It makes sense that in 2021, the Doogie show would be about a girl who's from a mixed race family and it's set in Hawaii. This is the version I would have most wanted to see back when I was 12 or 13. And so it's incredible to me that I actually got to make it. I can't help but bring an authenticity to it because of being raised there. It's such a wonderful feeling. It's, it's very comfortable, um, especially being around local crew and um, you know a lot of the cast members you know are, you know are from the islands there. Being able to play a character that is from there and adding all the nuances that were my upbringing, it's fun to do. I've never had that opportunity, really. I mean, yes, it's, it's just a delight. It's awesome that we get to showcase the islands and beauty of the culture itself, too, in the islands. The show is about Doogie and a family that was really similar to mine growing up. So it's really cool that kids like me will have something on TV to watch that's like them. I very much connect with Lahela um, in her journey of navigating her personal life as a teenager and her professional life as a doctor, you know. Being an actor at a very young age, there is that same feeling of, you know, being a kid in an adult's world and having those very adult pressures and responsibilities and expectations put on you and the pressure to grow up quickly, you know, to to meet the standard. For me, at least, it was very important to sort of carve out space to be a real human being and to be a kid and to be allowed to grow up at my own rate. And so I think Lahela definitely navigates that and the first season really tracks her journey of experiencing that and that I think really helped capture Lahela's story um, in a very truthful and authentic light, at least in my personal experience. It's a dramedy. So, I, you know, there's a lot of comedy elements that, that I usually never get to play. There's a lot of kind of goofiness about Benny Kamiloha and, and a lot of naiveness that comes into play. He's you know, a big hearted, sort of easygoing kind of guy. Peyton brings so much to the role and is such a tremendous actress. You know, one of the things about casting this part that's so tricky is you need to believe that she's actually a doctor, but you also need to believe that she's a 16 year old kid. In any of those scenes that she's in, you not only believe it, but you lean into her. And then when it came to Benny, as the season goes on, we learn more about his backstory and the choices he's made in his life. And then also with Kathleen, who plays Clara, she is so tremendously 
funny and you believe that she is a doctor, you believe that she's working at this hospital, but you also believe that she's vulnerable and she's not sure she's doing the right thing with her daughter. And you know, you empathize with her in such a great way. And so we just lucked out with this fabulous cast. I think already the creators and the producers in itself, their background developing shows like Fresh Off the Boat really infused this show with a really strong diversity factor. I mean, it's always been very important to me, you know, being a biracial girl, that biracial people are seen on TV and seen at the center of their own stories. It centers and focuses on a half Hawaiian family. It's very specific, um, which I think is so special because because it's a group of people that's often overlooked and not represented. We did our very best to create the most authentic portrayal of that experience of growing up and living in Hawaii through research and experience and talking with the local cast and crew. I never thought like that my first production would be so big. We always hung out together and I think that really like formed a special bond that made the show actually like authentic. My favorite memory is at the end of the season. We brought us all together and we shot this scene where we were singing a song and we were all kind of in this circle. But it was just such a nice moment for all of us. We just felt so like strongly about every single one and everyone was family. And I just know that we're all going to be in each other's lives forever, you know? And it wasn't even a sad scene. And I think mostly everyone was crying. We were all like tearing up, like getting very sappy. When we first started getting uh, prepared for the, the pilot, Peyton, uh, she and I went out surfing. She takes off on this huge wave. I, I'm like shocked, like, oh my gosh, she's gonna wipe out massively. She rides it all the way in into like ankle deep water that has sea urchins all around her and coral. And she gets up and she cheers like, I did it like, and we're like, oh my God. It's like, you just nearly got into the biggest trouble of your life. <laughs> It's not a cop show, you know, it's not, it doesn't have this kind of crime driven thing, you know, where there's a murder and all that kind of thing. So it's a family show and, and there's, there's such a nice warmth, uh, sincerity about it. And I think that for families is refreshing to be able to be able to watch something together.